this, but brilliant! I don't believe it! I swear I do not believe it! And they are back on turn! Hello, welcome to the Rugby Guys podcast. Uh, we have a Watford loss, 4-1 loss to look back to. Uh, while we look ahead to our final game before the final international break of the season, before the marathon stint between April and May, where we've got about a million games to play. Um, Full House again, Mix with us, as always. Hello. Uh, and Ben makes a reappearance after missing the live show last Hi. night. Hello. Nice to have you with us, Ben, as always. Thank you. Um... So we're going to set the scene before we talk about the game. Uh, EFL testing, COVID, com- COVID cases uh, <coughs> have been released. Um, and according to the EFL, 71 clubs have returned zero positive tests, which is fantastic, to be fair. That's really, really good. Um, mm. One club has returned 25 positive cases. <clears throat> oh, about then? It must, well, <laughs> um, that includes staff and players. Uh, so by, by the sound, obviously the EFL for legal reasons or medical reasons, I can't name the players or the individuals. But from that, it, we rather United have had 25 confirmed cases of COVID, which makes yesterday's game make even feel even more like a bit of a miracle. Top of the league, mate. Top of the league. <laughs> Can I say? Uh, yeah, it does. It does. Um, well, yeah. I mean, yeah. Let's talk about the game, shall we? Come on. If we lost. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so we start with the negatives, and then we'll finish on with two, a couple of positives. There were, there were for a four-one defeat, there were some positives to come out of the game. Yeah, yeah. Uh, which is definitely which is quite strange. Um, ben, the defending for most of the goals, maybe the not fourth one because it was you know, just a kick off, but certainly for several of the goals, defending was questionable at best. Yeah, it was just. Like, late, I think is the best word to describe it. I can't remember what goal it was. It might have been the first one or the rebound. Uh, second one, that one, where he, where he made, made a good save. and then Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the second one. It just, like, the cross goes in and we just stood on sat on edge of the box for 10 minutes, which is... I, I've, I've never got it. I've obviously, I've never played defence. I don't I've never played centre-back or whatever, so I don't really know what goes through your head. But to me, it's common sense would be to... Play the offside trap and then get as close to it as you can. It and looked like to me that the second one was about a mile offside. Now, I might be proven wrong on that no, one. It wasn't. Um, the second uh, one looked a mile off. Mick said this and it's like, I, I don't know what I don't know what crack is with it because to me it looks a mile on. I, 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 think, think, it's just, I think it's just reaching that, in my opinion. I, I think looking back at it, I think Icky is a lot deeper than the rest of the defence. Yeah, um, uh, and he's out of shot for a lot of the game, so a lot of that uh, that phase of play, he did look a mile offside. He looked an absolute yard, you know, two three yards off. But um, we're not doing that, was. are we? Come on, <laughs> yeah. we're, no, we're, not, we're not doing two or three yards. Mikasa, I, well, it, me. Come on, uh, we're not doing it, that, I thought he was initially, but he wasn't. The bottom line is he wasn't offside. The the um, man didn't even hesitate. Well, no, he, he, didn't even hesitate. He, he, I'll come on to this in a minute, but he also gave a penalty, which was not a penalty in a million years, Ben. So I, I, I don't 100% trust that linesman. <laughs> True. Yeah. True. Yeah. I mean, uh, it, yeah. Def- go on. No, defensively, I thought we were. I thought, well, clearly, obviously, I mean, this is. I can't, I can't believe I'm about to say this. Defensively, we were at fault for all four goals. Um, which sounds a bit obvious, but defensively they weren't at fault for that for our goals. So I suppose it's not True. really. Um, so yeah, it, it's uh, lack of sharpness. Um, the pace that they've got up front as well doesn't help. Um, just, just it was just rusty, weren't it? It was just a rusty defensive performance for me. Yeah, I mean, I, I, what I also will say is I think this idea that we're really good at defending set pieces is a little bit of a myth. Mm. Um, there were stats today, part of the second tier podcast, that we've I think was the fourth or fifth best defensive record uh, when conceding goals outfield. We've only conceded about eighteen goals, which means the most of our goals have been conceded by from set pieces. Yeah. So I, I, we are clearly good at taking set pieces, and, and we can get goals from that. But I think defensively, there's a lot of work to be done. But again, I guess it's because of the, the season we're in, there isn't enough time. The, 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 there's more important places to, to put training time. Mm. Than to be doing, they were doing that all that, and it, it clearly is working to concede so few goals from, from 
open play is really good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, you know, well, there's only Norwich and <clears throat> Barnes and a couple of teams that come to you less. So that's a positive. Yeah, definitely. But last night, it, it, it took the game <clears throat> away from us, didn't it? Uh, yeah, it did. It did. Um, I mean, their, their first attack, they scored. Second attack, they scored, basic, basically. Yeah. Uh, and to be fair, that first half, they looked like they were going to score every time they went forward. Um, I would half time. Yeah, I was as well. Um, thankfully, they did take their foot off the gas for a while in the second half. Um, so, you know, I mean, I'm, and, and from, from our point of view, I'm glad that they did. Um, mm. So, so yeah, it, it, it wasn't a great night. It was a game that had to be played, weren't it? Um, yeah. And to be fair, I don't think anybody in the right mind expected us to get out of the game. To be fair, I certainly didn't. No, um, I don't think any of us did, did we? So, no, I agree. Um, ben, me and Mick disagreed on this issue last night on the li- on, on <coughs> Tuesday night. Sorry, for the on the live show about Blackman. Um, now, me, I, me, and you are still not in the camp where every time something happens, we're blaming Blackman for every little thing. But for me. His positioning, basically, for three, at least three of the four goals, his positioning was very bad. The volley from the edge of the box, I said it was a good goal at the start, but then I realised it near hit the middle of the net when it hit yeah. the net. So I I'd, I'd actually thought about that. I've just realised that now. It wasn't in the corner. It's, it's, it's too far off his line, isn't it? it yeah, it, well, the ball wasn't in the corner. Uh, and no, he's no. In, uh, I know he's volleying that, but I think the... the the fun, the quote unquote fun boys. Uh, I Which one was that? The, the last the one. Fourth one. No, the one. That, yeah, the one that they scored straight after. Mm. Yeah. I, I think it could do better. Obviously, it could do better. But uh, he's not at fault. McDonald's at fault uh, yeah. for being basically in their box. Uh, I don't know what he's doing. He's cloud watching. I'm not too sure what's crack is. He's, and then he jogs back and he jogs back and he just he jogs back and he jogs back half hearted <laughs> challenge yeah but he puts a half hearted challenge in I know you don't want to go sliding in it box but come on man body online and all that stuff but yeah I think they could yeah. all have been all have been uh, what's the word avoided but you know it is what it is and that's why we're down there uh, because of you know slip ups like that. You know, if we didn't have, if if yeah. I think if we had a, obviously all round sound defence, we'd be we'd be nit playoffs. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. We're not going to stay on it too long because we don't we don't we don't we don't want to start player bashing um, ever. Even though Ben likes having a dig at certain people. <laughs> nice. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, it were uh, the first certainly the first and a, uh, the second one. And maybe I, 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 if you were being ultra critical, you could blame Blackman for all of them. I'm not saying he was at fault for all of them. I'm not saying he could, you know, but the, he could have done things to make it much more difficult for the attackers to score the goals. And that's his job as a goalkeeper. For example, the fourth one: if if you know you're not going to keep hold, keep hold of the ball, and because because the shots are so vicious, you push it as far away as possible from the goal. He couldn't yeah. have dropped it more easily at the striker's feet on the, for the fourth one. Yeah, uh, I agree with Ben. The volley, the volley from sort of the edge of the area, it, it, it's, too, it's too close to play. So when the ball comes through all them bodies, he's, he, he's seen it far too late. It's on the edge of his six yard line, which is too far out. It should have been thing is, half, halfway back. The thing is, we don't know if he's had it. We don't know what no, yeah. back he's with that. So I, I think yeah, I think we, I think he, he could definitely improve from that game. But I'm not going to sit here and say. But uh, it should be dropped because we don't know what's gone on yeah. in the past few weeks or past few days. So yeah. I think you can improve. But if he's had COVID, I think there's some uh, slack to be given. But yeah, if he exactly. hasn't, then uh, I think there's slack to be given for everybody from last night. Yeah, yeah. Um, I suppose, yeah. Why are you not cutting slack to? No, nah, I'm not cutting slack to anybody. I just, <laughs> I just, yeah, it's just that fourth goal annoyed me. But I don't play centre back, so I can't critique. It's, I get, I see what you're saying, but but at the same time, it's three one, and you know what? Let's have a go. So for for somebody to be caught so high up pitch, it's you might yeah, as well just that, go for it. I, I, I know you said about tracking back as well. 
It's a tracking back fully. I don't care if he's in their box as long as he's yeah, yeah. If, if he's anything, scoring, he's up, a... he can't do anything. That's... If he's been affected as well, which he could very well have done, it might have the lungs to get back. True. Maybe. But then that uh, comes we... down to you, doesn't it? But yeah. That comes no, I mean, if he's just come back from COVID, you can't cut yeah. Blackman some slack and then the McDonald's. Yeah, it's true. Uh, yeah, I mean, it can be given slack, but it comes down to the individual and how you want to approach the game. I've already said it about about when Michael Jordan played with food poison. It's how you want to approach the game. I, I thought McDonald had an OK game last night. I thought he yeah, actually he came out of defence a bit more than normal, which I, I, quite, I quite enjoyed seeing him sort of stepping out from that defensive role and stepping into midfield. It gave us a different option. I know it didn't lead to any goals in particular, but it's good. Woody does that ever so often. Nicky does it ever so often. When you've got three at back, you have got that little bit of license to go up, step up, and then you've got cover in there. Um, so I'm interested that, that he, did, he did that last night, Angus McDonald. Um, on to any more negative sides of the games that you want to talk about before we talk about the positive list? I, I do. I'll just make it clear that I don't agree with either of you about Blackman. Um, I don't. Uh, I don't. I just I, I find it quite um, remarkable that you know we can we can blame blame Blackman for being out of position or we can blame him for not stopping not 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 getting a strong enough hand on it but we can't you know I mean and all right Ben has mentioned one of the defenders but he shouldn't be put in these positions by the defence mm. he is and he is he has been because the defence have not played well enough together. And, you know, recently we've not trained, we've got the COVID thing going off and everything else. And as a consequence, he's put in these positions and yet he's the one that gets slated every time. And it absolutely boils my blood to see some of the, the social media posts about it. it. It really does make me ashamed to be a Rotherham United supporter at times, the way some people go off. We had it with Freddie. You know, this man shouldn't be in our club and all this. We've had it with, with, with Blackman today saying it's the worst goalkeeper that Rotherham have ever had. Whoever, whoever posted that clearly has only been watching Rotherham for about three months. Uh, yeah. not, they clearly don't know what they're talking about. And I just, I find it, I find it quite... Belarus. I, yeah, it, well, yeah well, that's one example. Yeah, that's, be, that's before we even start. You yeah. know what I mean? I just find it, I, I find it, I don't know. I don't. I can't think of the word. Disgusting, mm. infuriating, objectionable, horrible. I just hate it, um, and yeah. I just don't want these people at my club. I'm ashamed to be associated, associate myself with the same club that these that people like that associate themselves with. Jamal Blackman is a man who is quite clearly down on confidence, in my view, for whatever reason, and who on earth in the right mind thinks that to slate him publicly is the best way to get him back into confidence. Just it just beggars belief, man, honestly. It really does. It just I find it I find it remarkable. Well, well, ben looks like he's like ready. Obviously no, obviously we've had me and you had a little chat before, but what I've thought is um like they're paid to perform. Mm. Perform. Perform for us. We pay out, well, I don't, because I don't work, but you know what I mean? People <laughs> pay. But you, know, you know what I mean? People pay Somebody pays money, money for him, all right? Yeah, well, no, people pay the hard-earned yeah. money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Perform. You've got a responsibility, and if you're low on confidence, you, you've got to figure that out. There's no... Yeah, yeah. Put some aim, but you've got to figure that out, or, you know, you're not going to play. Mm. Yeah. I think, I think, I think the frustration, frustration comes from, and I, this is all theoretical and we'll never know, but if Johansson was in the goal... What would have happened? And there's a good chance he's stopping but, a couple of them. But you, you that, said that. that. That's, that's the question, and that's the worry. Right, you said that, Matt. Okay. Matt Crooks gives the ball away that leads to yes, a goal. Yes, I agree. Any slating? Any issue? Any Matt Crooks is crap? Any Matt Crooks, the worst midfielder that we've ever played in our club? None of that. And I understand why, because he didn't. But he made a mistake that led to a goal. He's got you know, credit in back though, week that, in, that, week out. That also but has listen, has an impact on that. Yeah, he still he still made a mistake. Yeah, yeah. And, and and I I don't accept. Well, I just don't accept that it's right to start singling players out. I find it I find it offensive. It's horrible, and people just need to pack it in. You know, we 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 all we can all have an opinion about how a player has played. You know, 
so and so had a crap game today, or you know, he's not pulling his weight recently, or he's out of form, or he's whatever, whatever, whatever. Mm. Um, but to be so vindictive and nasty about people is just yeah, it's horrible. It's horrible, and, and I hate well, it. Well, there's ways of means of doing it, and I think and I hope that we, well, the way we're talking about it, is I hope people see it as a constructive com- a conversation. Yeah, you know, we're not, we're not saying he's crap getting out of the club type of conversation, but in 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 the eyes of some people, he's been mistaken. In the eyes of some, he hasn't. So that's why it's a conversation to be had. But you're 100 percent right. These people that go on Twitter, Facebook, and just start slagging him off, saying this, that, other. He's clearly a decent keeper, but yeah, there's still yeah, question yeah. marks. There's question marks over him, and, and I think it, we've talked about it a lot. But I think it's when there's a lone player that doesn't do very well, it's so easy to get on the backs because they're not your player. Yeah. It doesn't matter. I think I think that's how yeah. play, I found some fans look at it. We won't, he won't be with us next season, so if we're going to be all up to him, who cares? It doesn't really matter. Well. It's still a bloke. It's still a good. No, it's still a good being in that. Let's, yeah, but the yeah. thing is with that, right? It's like you, as when you become a professional athlete, you have to have a barrier of, like, nothing. No, nobody's opinion apart from my coaches and people inside my house as matters, because once it does, you start to, you know, lose quote unquote confidence, which is just a myth, because and nothing external should affect internal. Yeah. Like, shouldn't, it's shouldn't does. confidence is a myth. Confidence is a myth. It's a, it's a mental state. Yeah, it's, which, it's you, a which, you, which, which you can control. Yeah, but well, it's, look it, how, confidence is a thing. But yeah, you could be on top of the world and someone says you crap and it could go. That's how yeah. you've got to realize on how little, like, I don't know. It's hard, like, yeah. Yeah. It's a difficult one, isn't it? It's a difficult one. Um, and, and I'm not suggesting for a minute that. You know the the, the negative um, social media comments. He even knows about them, let alone anything else. Probably not, no. Um, but but that that's not the point, really. You know, no. I don't want my club to be like that. I don't want. It's just horrible. Anyway, let's move on. Let's be positive. Come on. Positives, and for me, there were a reasonable amount of positives. Too. We lost four one. Um, it was really good. Uh, first of all, we didn't mention this on live show last night, Mick, and we should have done uh, Woody last night. <laughs> And it might not, it might, it might have been at fault for some of the goals. It's difficult to tell with the camera angles, but the way he handled himself in the last twenty minutes of the game was just almost heroic. Yeah. Throwing himself at balls, which he, he couldn't throw himself at the ball, but he still managed to do it, yeah. and just put literally putting his body on the line. It's just, it's just an example to people, not just footballers, to people everywhere. When you care, this is what you can do. It leads by example, doesn't it? And he yeah. could hardly walk. He literally couldn't run. He, he, he couldn't physically run because he got cramping probably both his legs by the looks of it, by the treatment he was getting. Yeah. Uh, he was just shot completely. Uh, but he leads by example. Mm. Um, and, and, and yeah, he was fantastic. Absolute captain. Absolute captain. Um, yeah. You know, so, yeah, brilliant. Great to um, see from Woody. But, uh, but yeah. having said that, I expect nothing less from him. Well, exactly. You know I mean? If you weren't doing that, you'd be surprised. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I thought Barley's in midfield. Ben had a pretty good game. Um, he, he, he improved from previous weeks. He started to look after the ball a bit better, I thought, and obviously gave it away once, twice. But I thought he, he was improved from previous weeks. He's put on a bit of weight or something. I didn't recognise him at first. So they changed his number or something. I recognised him. I genuinely didn't. I said he was twenty six. <laughs> he said, well, that's Lasser, right? Um, <laughs> I genuinely didn't, didn't work. Nah, yeah, it was good. It was just, was just Bar Lasser, weren't he? It was yeah. no special, no, no well, NES type thing. Well, you know what I mean? No, not not special for him. No, neutral, he didn't stand yeah. out. But it does take its toll uh, mm. throughout the game. Uh, yeah, I put it well. There's nothing, but you can't. You, the thing is, with that position, you can't really stand out unless you're Javier yeah. Iniesta. You know mm. what I mean? Unless you're that good, you can't stand out. But if you if you do if you don't stand out, it means you're doing a good job. Yeah. So, um, probably yeah. Mick, should he have taken the penalty? No. Based on the season. No. I've no problems with that. I've no problems with Smithy taking it. I've no problems with Smithy missing it either because it weren't a penalty. No, um, it was just. It was just. I mean, after all the stonewall penalties we've not been given this season, I know. And then we get on that. Smith. On Smith, it's just. It's almost. It's almost. It's almost a bit embarrassing. 
Um, I thought the referee had a really, really good game last night. I agree. And, and, and I suspect that the linesman gave that penalty, not the referee. He's flagged um, it, no, no, it didn't, yeah, but they, 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 they talk to each other now, don't they? And the, and the, I agree, and the reason I agree is because he took so long to make the decision. Yeah. If the referee thought it was a penalty, he'd have given it straight away yeah. or straight away ish. He took forever. Yeah, he did. He did, and and it was. It, I mean, it were it were a joke, really. So yeah. I suppose it was just this. It was just this. I mean, obviously, from a team point of view, we want to score the goal, get us back to three one. Maybe we don't concede straight away after that one. Mm. Um, so, but yeah, I mean, just yeah, nightmare. Nightmare, but yeah, it was a poor penalty, weren't it? Let's be fair. I hope it didn't knock his confidence. He didn't seem to knock his confidence nah. in the game. He, he, went, he went back to playing his normal game two minutes later, didn't he? Um, yeah. But anyway. Uh, ben, uh, people demand that you be nice to Freddie Ladefo. Um <laughs> The goal itself was, it was were, it were better than the goal at Wednesday. It obviously weren't as important, but it was a much better goal than against Wednesday. When it, was, it was stunning. Yeah, well, he's one of the best goals I've ever seen from a Lovren player in my time. He's probably better the than Vassas. No, one of the shoulders. Better than Vassas. Better than Vassas. Probably the Vellos is probably the only one that tops that. It was such a, the way it dipped and that, but mm. I mean, let's not get you know, let's not get too excited. He <laughs> <laughs> scored a goal, right? We, we look at the reality of it. I know it's a world class goal, but he mm. scored a goal. Two and two, it's, mate. Calm down. Two and two. Calm down. Two stunners in two. Yeah, it's not well, just two tappings. It's not ten in ten. Exactly. This is my point. It could be. This is my point. But what I was saying, he played all right. But if he didn't score that goal, would be raving about his performance. That's what you've got I to look think at. so. Well, 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 raving's the wrong word. But well, yeah, I thought last. I mean. Yeah, I thought last night was the first time, possibly ever, that Smith and Freddie played together, and they both played well. I can't remember them ever playing together and playing well together. Can you? No, this is what I mean. He was pressing very well, but and I mm. want to see more because if he does it one game yeah. and goes back to his old yeah. ten, yeah, yeah. like yeah. But I want to see, it. I want to see it for more than one game. If he does it for the next two or three games, then what what can I criticize? Like you know, yeah, obviously nothing. the game things he can critique in his game, but who who you know what I mean? Who can't? So, yeah. yeah, good good performance for him. I agree. Make thoughts on Smith and Freddie playing well together. That's another. It's another ma- a massive option. If that, if ben, like Ben says, it has to continue, obviously. But if that's the case, that's such an option for us. Yeah, it is. Absolutely. Freddie's on fire at the moment in terms of his confidence, clearly. He looks mm. like a confident player. And and the, the key to him playing playing well for me yesterday was Freddie's pressing and the and the mm. fact and the way that Freddie pressed. In the past he's he's kind of committed half heartedly to it in my view. Um and, and, and not pressed in the right areas and at the right time. Last night he was pressing in bang on the right areas, trying to force players wide from the back. Just, you know, a, as a team. And, and he seemed mm. to be part of that pressing team. So he's clearly worked on that in training. They've clearly he's, he's, he's clearly got got that into his head now and I thought he was excellent I thought he had an excellent game overall um, you know it, 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 and, and, to, and topped it off we like Ben said it's a world class finish it really yeah, is it a world class finish um, and you, you've got to just got to look at the faces of the six or seven Premier League defenders mm. and the goalkeeper and essentially they're all where did that come from what happened there they had absolutely yeah. no idea um, it, it just caught it so well, um, absolutely sweet as a nut. Uh, just got just slightly under under the ball, uh, <laughs> and, it, and it just dipped in. And two two goals in two games, two world class finishes. Mm. So he's got it. He can do it. But now, come on, Freddie, let's kick on, mate. Let's kick yeah. on. You know the sun's shining now. Let's make some hair, cause boy, oh boy, can he? Uh, could he kick on? We yeah. know he can do it. We know he can do it. Technically, he's probably not the most gifted striker that we've ever had by any stretch of the imagination. But he knows where net is. And if he adds that hard work to his game like he has been doing, uh, you know, he, he, can, yeah. he can improve massively. And he can maybe one day get himself that big money move that, that, that you know, his career, he, he probably feels he's deserved with the work he's putting over his career so far. He, he has got it. Please, please, come on, Freddie, now. Let's make it... 
in, in Brex's name, Brex's words, make a name for yourself, fella, because it's there for the taking if you want it. Yeah, I agree. Completely agree. The next few games will be a massive for him, mm. as this game was massive for him as well. Um, yeah. One one other point is I enjoyed both keepers' names being very similar. Yeah, Blackman yeah, in goal for us and Backman Blackman for them. Backman, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, I enjoyed that a lot. Um, <laughs> anything else you want to mention on the game? I haven't, I've not got any more notes from the game other than there were some positives from a poor result. No. No. Good. Um, as things stand, we're recording on Wednesday night before the game. So as things stand, results have gone our way. Um, before we talk about Bristol City, Mick, we'll talk about Birmingham because they are our main relegation rivals. Yeah. They've officially sacked Karanka and brought in a former club legend in Lee Boyer. Um, not ideal for us, that. Uh, yeah, it's just typical, isn't it? You know, we, yeah. we go away, like you said, we go away to Bristol on Saturday. We've, uh, we've just brought in their new manager as well. Um, you know, they've been on a terrible run, and, and then all of a sudden they get a new manager just before we play them. Um, same likewise with Birmingham. Obviously, by the time we play them, Boyer, mm. Boyer will be sort of well ensconced there. Yeah. Uh, well, listen. It's it's in our hands. It's in our hands. Um, you know, we've proved that we can mix it with the big boys, particularly when we're fit. But we've proved we can mix it with the big boys when we're fit with half a team. Yeah. You know, hopefully by come the end of this international break, we're going to be we're going to be knocking on the door of having a full team. You know, maybe we get Joe Matic back. I mean, we've uh, we've forgot about Joe Matic. I know. You know? Um, sadly, is looking really, really sharp. For me, I think he, he he's he's got to be close to a start. He's got to be. Defensively, I think Angus McDonald's really stepped up these last few games. I know, yeah, he may have he may have struggled towards the end of the game yesterday, but I think he's, he's he he appears to be a man playing with a bit of confidence again, like he was at the you know the early part of the mm. season. Um, I I'm really confident. I'm genuinely confident, despite. Everything that everything that's that's gone off, everything this season seems to have conspired against us. Um, maybe that's just me, you know, with me sort of. Uh, everybody hates as Steve Evans at on. I don't know, but um, I'm not as fat as him, or as or as nasty, but or as Scottish, or as Scottish. Not that that's a bad thing, you know. No, um, no that's true. So I don't know. I don't know. It, it, I what was question? Um, I think you're about Birmingham. Oh, Birmingham, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Birmingham. They've set Karanka, haven't they? Yeah. Um, I, I, I've read. Uh, I've, I've seen a little article by Second Tier Pod saying that um, Birmingham City went out for a club meal over the weekend. And, oh, um, I've read that. Karanka was sacked before the meal and then asked to and then had to stay there, which I, which I think is probably utter garbage. No, it was reported by. Daily, Daily Mirror, yes, that's the one. Daily Mirror, so it will be it will be completely factually inaccurate, obviously, because it's come out of a newspaper. So, uh, yeah, he probably has been sacked, and somebody had a meal on the same day. But <laughs> as, if, you, as if, if, if you read what you believe, if you re- if you believe what you read, yeah, um, the, the players were asked what they thought, and it was basically sacked on the back of what the players said, yeah. which I think is if true. That's bang out of order. <laughs> but hey, burning a minute. That's why they are where they are. Yeah, I mean, it's yeah, true. It, yeah, it's it, it, again. There's something wrong at the bottom of that club, and no, no, I, I've done any issue in burning well, times. But I, I hope you go down because if you go down, we won't. You just answered what's wrong with club. You just said well, it yeah. a few seconds ago. You just said what's wrong with club. No leadership. Yeah, yeah. Okay, exactly. Well. It's coming home to yeah. roost, isn't it? It's coming home to roost for 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 them down at Swillsborough. Um, mm. Bad ownership. It's coming on to roost for Birmingham. It's coming on to roost for Derby. Uh, obviously, they've had their takeover has, uh, has fallen through finally. Um, a year me, later. A year later, uh, which, which which we all anticipated. It's going to come on to room for Sheffield. Roost to Sheffield uh, for Sheffield United next Seems season. Like I'm it, absolutely yeah. sure. Um, and long may it continue. We need these people out of our game because it's our game ultimately. Yeah, we don't actually put the millions in. But ultimately, it is our game. Um, so we've got a fantastic owner, as our accounts have just proved. Yeah. Yeah, do you want to have a quick mention on the accounts, Mick? Uh, and you're the one that's worked in more businesses than myself. 
Uh, but bear in mind, it was a year we got relegated to make a, a loss, which was then covered by the chairman. That's not a bad financial situation to be in, really. We made a £1.9 million loss, didn't we? Yeah. Um, and, you know, in January, when the people that are saying Blackman's the worst player in the country and Freddie should leave, the same ones saying people that Tony Stewart should be dipping his hand in his pocket, um, he's put £2 million into the club. To keep it, and that's just in last year. It, it, well, just to keep it solvent, right? Just let that sink in for a minute, okay? Think about what you earn. Think about what you earn in a year. Think about what you earn in two years, ten years, right? He might be a businessman. He might have. He might have a lot of money. Two million pounds. Two million. You know, that's that's a, a massive lottery win for, 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 for us. And he's put that into our club to keep our club afloat. Your club. And, and out of it, essentially, it's out of his own pocket. It's out of his own... Yeah. You know what I mean? I, it's not a lot of money in comparison to a lot of the other football clubs and the amount of money that's getting pumped into these. But I give you Birmingham. <laughs> we give you Sheffield yeah. Wednesday. Give you Sunderland, give you Ipswich, give you Wigan, give you Bolton, all these other clubs that have pumped multi, multi, multi millions of pounds into a club for it all to go belly up. It's not the answer, is it? And 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 Tony Stewart's proved that by keeping us a solvent club, a club that, despite the fact that we got relegated, still didn't make a massive loss, and that would have been covered this season in spades had we had mm. crowds in the ground. Got it, would yeah. Um So, so now I mean, it's yeah. Nobody wants to make a loss of it, but I think just about everybody out, outside the the sort of top six or seven in the Premier League will make a loss this year. Even yeah, they'll um, make a loss, but they'll have billions. Yeah, they they yeah, they, they, they they're, they're in massive demand. You're in serious debt. Yeah, uh, but they've got, but they've got assets to cover it. Yeah, they earned they earned probably enough from the sales. Like the money. The, the most famous club in the world, or most supported club, on on the on, that's different topic. Yeah, but yeah, um, as, that, as, as that, of as of twenty as of twenty nineteen twenty twenty, Ben Man, Man United are in four hundred and seventy four million pounds worth of debt. Oh well, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but as you say, they've got the assets to cover it, and, and clubs like Rotherham United and, and and others don't don't necessarily have that, so they've got to cut our cloth accordingly, haven't we? Yeah. But going back to what we said, I'm glad. I'm glad it's a loss of 1.9 million instead of a loss of a club. Yeah, like, exactly. So, Which it could have been in COVID. It could, it could have, been. have been. Easily, it could have been. Like look, like you make said, look at all the other clubs, and I look. And I'm actually smile when I lay back and lay in bed and think about all these clubs burning to the ground because a few years ago they were all taunting, and. Mm. You know what I mean? What I said about aeroplanes all the time, what, what goes up so quick has to come down even quicker. Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah. It, it's not great for the supporters of these clubs and I do feel for them. I feel for supporters of Bar, uh, Bar, Bar, Barnsley, Birmingham. I don't feel for fans of Barnsley, they're loving yeah, life. They're, they're, they're loving life. And, <laughs> and, and good luck to them and all. Absolutely good yeah. luck to them. Um, but, but yeah, I, I feel sorry for the fans of Birmingham. Um, I don't feel sorry for the fans of Sheffield Wednesday because most of them come from Rotherham anyway so speaking um, of Wednesday are they winning Matt oh no um, yeah as we said we're recording during 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 the games of Wednesday night uh, so we can't talk about how they're going to finish um, they've not started very well but that'll be out of date by every time everybody's listening to this so. precisely yeah. um, so anyway um, on to Saturday we have our, as we, like we mentioned at the start it's our final game before the most pointless international break there has ever been. Um, Can you name a pointful, uh, a useful international break that love and be involved in? I think it is, yeah. What? You think it, you think it's useless or useful? useful? No. Can you name any useful ones that we've been involved in? No. I can. This one. What? Wow. We should this be one. playing. We should be playing at least one game. We can we get some shorts for international break? Unless we we've get... got. We haven't got anyone international. You know what I mean? No. Unless I know. I know what Mick's what? saying because it gets people back fit, but it, it, it's at a cost of playing four times in one week. So be it. Hopefully, by the yeah, time well, yeah. it comes round to that, we'll be out of this trouble. Hopefully. 
Um, we'll go through the stats as we always do, which again is Mick's favourite part of the show. Well, 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 well one thing on oh, playing on. four times a week, I don't, I can't remember what podcast mentioned it on, but like, like you said about Woody in our game, uh, in the last game about him mm. putting on body online, having cramp and all this. He's sending a message um, to the players, uh, and that's the kind. Of, if he if he's playing in them every one of them four games, I'll have full confidence. Because yes. that is the I don't care. We could have Messi playing. I'd rather have Richard Wood playing all four games. Because I would. Because I would. Yeah. Because fair play to Messi, but best player ever, right? But he's not a leader. He doesn't have to be a leader. It's not the type no. of guy he is. Wood is a leader. He's a captain through and through. He's he knows everyone. Like I would literally, I would die. I would give me my house if he wanted it. Like what he's <laughs> done. For me, I genuinely would. What he's done for my club, I would give him my yeah. house if he wanted it. So, I'll, I'll, I'll want him playing every single game. And if he does, I'm, I'll have confidence mm. that we're not going to lose them all. Mm. Yeah, and hopefully he's played Saturday. You get, again, you hope it is only cramp and you assume it is only cramp from Tuesday. And we've got three days rest <laughs> uh, in between the games. So, hopefully Woody will be all right. Hopefully well, unless he's a broken leg, he'll play, won't he? He's... Of course he will. No, and this is what I mean. that's, that's what I mean. That's why I want him playing. Yeah, I agree. Um, on last meetings, we did win our last meeting with Bristol City, as we mentioned on the live show. It was one of our most convincing wins of the season. I know it was only 2 0. But both games against, 3 0 win against Sheffield Wednesday, Derby, Middlesbrough, there were moments in the game where it, it looked a bit dicey. Against Bristol City, I know we won 2 0, but we absolutely dominated with Newton Rick. Yeah, we did. Absolutely. Um, and it'd be nice for it to be another double, wouldn't it? Um, yeah. So, but again, it's it's a game that, yeah, we we don't need to win, we don't have to win, but it is a winnable game. So mm. it depends on where we are, COVID wise, um, come Friday, Saturday, as to whether, as to whether we've got the the capabilities to do to do it. Um, yeah. But it would be great to be able to go down to Ashton Gate and get something out of that. Um, that, that whilst they are their form has picked up a little bit, they've they've been in really poor form recently. Um, so the only. The only fly in the ointment from our point of view is obviously the new manager bounce in it, and hopefully well, you said that. that. Yeah, the, their record um, they won two games straight after Pearson taking over, hmm. but they now only won one of the last three. They've, before again, if this is before Wednesday night, which they are playing, before Wednesday night they have lost the last two in a row. Yeah. So, so uh, and I said Wednesday night hasn't ha- is currently happening as we speak, uh, and they are away to Blackburn Rovers, and they've got a shorter gap. They've got a trek up M5, I think it is, up to Blackburn to contend with. Um, our record overall is not great. We, last time we won at Ashton Gate was in 2013. Uh, we won 2-1 with goals from Ben Pringle. And can you name the other plus scorer, everybody's favourite loanee of that season? No Adiko. League one season. No Adiko. Very good. Um, and that was with a 2-1 win in 2013, so what's that, eight years? Uh, since wow. we last last won there, wow. yeah, <laughs> uh, we haven't played that much to be fair. We've been up and down, haven't we? Uh, yeah. I think the last time we went was I think Richard. I think we ended up with nine men. Richard Howell and Billy Jones got sent off. Yeah, I, I went down to that game as well. That was a hell of a, yeah. a journey. Yeah, I went down. Me and Danny went down. Um, no, I mean, that, that were um, Steve Warnock were recharged. What when I went down? Yeah. Right. Okay. I thought I thought Fatty Evans were in charge when I went, but there you go. You went on a Tuesday night, didn't you? Yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, I, I didn't go to that game. I went to another one. You did. Yeah. It was a different <laughs> one I went to. Um, yeah, the one, the one, the one that they got both off were, were around Christmas time. I don't think we went to that one. You, why do you have to throw me under the bus? Why could you not just said, "Yeah, I remember you went to that," or not even just pick up on it at all? Somebody else would have noticed. <laughs> oh. And they go, "Who's this Mick? What was this Mick? Don't know him." Yeah, I'm just. I, would, I, I had no intention to say not about game. <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to say I've been. Okay. I went to every yeah, game okay. that season. All man away. <laughs> um, any any uh, any new listeners won't know who Danny is. <laughs> by the way, that's well, well. true. But anyway, there you go. Any old any, any old listeners, we apologise. Wow, very old <laughs> listeners. <laughs> wow. Yeah, he, he was. Uh, one of the first ones we had on, and yeah. Anyway, we love Danny. But... <laughs> well, uh, yeah, that's a strong word, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I'm, <laughs> I'm pretty sure he didn't listen, so it's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he does. 
Um, what do we think about lineup, Ben? Like, uh, we said this out <coughs> after uh, before the game on Tuesday, and I don't know about you guys actually. In my fan club, we got the fan club app. We did his lineup predictor. I got eight out of eleven. How did you get? I think I got quite a lot. Uh, apart from um, oh, who was it? Wales, who, were, who didn't play hard. Hardy, Hardy didn't start. Play. I think I think I got everyone else. Wing, wing as well. Yeah, I'm, I missed out. Wing, Wales, and Johansson. Oh, Johansson, yeah, I got the same. <laughs> I got same. <laughs> to be fair, if, if anybody got 11 out of 11 for last night on the fan, or not for choosing out on the fan hub app, you deserve yeah, an absolute say, medal. If anyone predicts yeah. a black man, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, if, also, if you haven't I already downloaded that, download the fan hub app uh, through the App Store, iOS. Uh, you will go straight into a queue if you contact us. We will be able to get you a golden ticket, which will get you free early access to jump ahead of the queue. Um, there's about 25 Rotherham fans on there already. If we get a few more, and that'd be great because it's a good laugh. Yeah. Um, and better next season when we can start going to games and measuring the mileage and things like that. It's it's, uh, it's a start of a, what looks like a really really good app. So do get involved with that. Um, so we'll, we'll post our predictions, full predictions, up later on in the week. Um, but just briefly, what do you think? What do you, how do you think we're going to start its line up, Ben? Well, like you said, I'll put it on close to game but I think it'll be near unchanged I think it'll be relatively similar but a few like very very few changes one max two uh, I think we overall I think we didn't play awful no. I think but overall that's our strongest team mm. but um, if you mix and match Harding uh, coming in and wing Harding coming in and that's it really. yeah hot wing and you can you know flip a coin between keepers uh, but yeah, I think it'd be relatively unchanged. Yeah, I agree. But I, I, even if it's unchanged, make it, if it had to go unchanged, then it's not so bad. We've got like, three days, what will be not proper training, not drilling to the ground, but actual prep. We can actually yeah. go through some prep with the players, <coughs> which which makes a we. massive difference. <laughs> we. Yeah, Warren what, 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 what <laughs> is not there, so I thought I'd just pop down <laughs> and just try and help out. <laughs> 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 Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I suspect if if your Hansen's up to it, he'll be back in. Um, mm. I think everybody's got more confidence in him than than Jamal Blackman at the moment, including Jamal Blackman, probably. Yeah. Um, so, I, I I think yeah, he could well be unchanged. I don't know. We'll have to see. We we'll have to see who's 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 fit and fit or fit enough. Um, yeah. Like you say, I don't think we played that badly last night. Um, I think we were just undone by a bit of. Lack of preparation more than anything else, and some a bit of slack defending. So, um, so yeah, I, I I wouldn't be disappointed if it were unchanged. Uh, I'd like to see a few more players, obviously back fit um, mm. uh, and ready to play. So we'll we'll have to wait and see. It's it's too too difficult to call at the moment because of the circumstances in it. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Um, a shout out. I know this don't really matter. I know I'm sure in listen Richie Barker taking that took the team on <laughs> on Tuesday. Uh, and his post-match press, press conference, he sounded very, very rough. So you've got to assume that he was another one that has been struck down with it. Um, yeah, they're all heroes. But on the bench, I mean, on the bench or not, they were just heroes on Tuesday. When, this is what I mean when it comes down to them four games. This is why I want. I'm glad that the people who got our club Barker mm. is a prime example. Yeah, honestly, like. <laughs> come hell you, high you could tell you could tell it went well because you were wearing trousers. Not yeah, well, come, come hell <laughs> high water. He's going to be on that sideline. Yeah. Same with Warrington, I'm guessing, and that's what mm. I want. Don't matter, you know what I mean. Don't matter if he has to go out in a wheelchair or on crutches or whatever. He's going to be there <laughs> with a drip yeah. on or whatever. He's, you know what I mean? He's going to be yeah, there. Yeah. That's what I want at the club, man. Like, you, like, it's not honestly. I, it it takes its toll on everybody even the opposition when you played four mm. games in a row and you are still there ready for more like that mm. takes its toll so yeah I'm happy and, with and a lot of that squad are you know the likes yeah. of Smithy and Crooksy and Woody uh, and yeah. players like that you know they'll just keep going they, just, they will just keep going until they finally drop uh, yeah. Woody almost dropped last night didn't he but he just, yeah. just managed to keep it together <laughs> so yeah uh, yeah Good. Um, score predictions again, very difficult because we don't really know what the team's going to be. But Ben, start us with the score predictions, please. Uh, 
I'm going to go 1-1. One, one. It's positive. I'll take that. Did you just say that for last night? Yeah. Well, you know, first game of the season, when we beat Wickham 1-0, you were bragging for about three episodes. I thought, oh, I got it right, me. I nailed it. <laughs> I even said Dickie scored. I got it right, though. I got it bang on. <laughs> bang on, right. Like, you haven't got any right since. Minute. Nearly to the minute, <laughs> I got it right. <laughs> but, but, yeah. You didn't get any more since then, though, did you? Uh, well, Latin didn't say it twice, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, so Ben thinks one one. Do I put a score in there just so you, if you can no, try and no, think of no, that I'm, again? I'm, I'm past that. <laughs> Mick, yeah, I, 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 I don't think we've drawn one all season, have we? So uh, <laughs> it feels like we haven't. Anyway, I know. and they haven't either. Bristol City, they've not drawn in about twenty games. So it's got to be one one then, hasn't it? I'm going for one one, Freddie. Another screamer, three oh, three. I hope so, so if we can get him firing, I know he'll keep us up. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, yeah, hopefully. Um, for me, it's just get this game out of the way. Hope for best. If, if you give me a nil-nil, I'll have to pay my tenor to see a, a terrible nil-nil game. Yeah, 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 definitely. Definitely. Um, so, I'll go nil-nil. Of course, why not? Um, I think, yeah. If we if we win it, it'll be a miracle. A point will be very, very good. That's yeah. the way I'm looking at it right now. But things may change. Three days is a long time in football. Mm. Um, so, we'll see. Um, so thank you all we'll end there because we're out of stuff to talk about um, a reminder please first of all please subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already we've got we're coming up with 200 subscribers on YouTube so if you haven't already please do subscribe and push that up a bit if you can that would be fantastic um, the auto windscreen shield stuff we are getting on with that next week or two we are going to start talking to some players we've got three confirmed players well three players have said they'll come and do it I uh, won't confirm time to dates. We are the only people, the three ever starters that we haven't been able to find any contact details for yet are Paul Blades, Sean Goodwin, and Ian Brecken. So if anybody can help out, please get in contact with us. We've had the clubs have helped with some details. Um, Jonathan Veal, from oh, we used to report on Rotherham, did the impossible dream book from when Ray Moore was in charge. He's given us some help out with some details, which we're really, really grateful for. Um, so we're making contact and sorting some players out. There's some really cool names that I'm yeah, looking forward to speaking to. Yeah, there's one one big one that uh, yeah. That even I'm looking even out for <laughs> into. Yeah. Um so hopefully it's as good as, it's good as hopefully it's going to be as good as what I'm making out to be. <laughs> um we'll see. No pressure on that. Um but there won't be any the the last episode on on Monday which will be reviewing the Bristol City game, and then there won't be any more episodes until the preview of the Wiccan game, just so we've got a bit more time to try and speak to as many players as possible during that international break. Uh, so whereas the players will be taking use of the full international break, so will we. <laughs> um, so thank you all. Please uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Go on, Ben. Like I said, when we come back uh, from the international break, we might be all doing it together, which um, yeah. could be interesting. It means no for non. Well, actually, it will increase the sound quality. When we're back together, the sound quality will increase, will improve. Yeah. Um, we we'll come back just before, after the stay-at-home order lifts at the end of end of March. So it's exciting for us. Um, social okay. distance, obviously. Obviously. Um, obviously. Yeah. Obviously. Um, but yeah, that'll be good. I hope. I hope it will improve your listening. Listenership. I don't know what the word is. <laughs> I don't think that's the word. I don't think that's the word. Your listening <laughs> pleasure. That's the one. Listening pleasure. There we go. Um, I follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Um, Ben's not been using Instagram. We've not given the login, so I've put a few things up. So cheers. No, I don't. But yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a very busy man. Um, yeah, likely. <laughs> Um, I am, I am, and I, am. I hope that Ben hasn't fidgeted us today. We, we, we told him off for fidgeting because yeah, yeah, he's loud uh, and he's calmed down. We've also educated him on Adam and Eve, which is good. Um, yeah, <laughs> Educating um, him on Adam and Eve, and it's the birds and the bees next, I think, isn't it? <laughs> No, I'm, not, I'm not having that conversation. <laughs> I'm sure we can find somebody out there who's willing to uh, to, to to have that conversation with him. Just Google, mate. Just Google it. No, don't don't Google it. Whatever you do. <laughs> um, we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll see you all Monday. Hopefully for three points, but at least one. Hopefully, um, and then we're back after that. So cheers, Mick. It's been lovely. Cheers.
And cheers, Ben. It's been cheers. life. Cheers, mate. Bye bye. <laughs> Looking towards a guard. Rebel. Ambitious, but brilliant. I don't believe it. I swear I do not believe it.